Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to show you how to create your own, your very own uh, Discord music bot. Now today's video is going to require actually a lot less coding than before. There is, there is coding involved, but if you're a beginner to Python, if you're new to coding, I think, I think you'll be able to get through this just fine. So before I get started, I just want to apologize. My microphone quality is not probably going to be the best this video. And that's just because I am running off my laptop at, right now, and my good microphone does not work with this laptop for some reason. So once I get my desktop set up again, and everything like that is going, then the good mic will be back, and better quality is what we will have. So let's get started. So there's going to be a few things that you'll need before we actually get into making the bot. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need Git. So you can just search Git on Google. And it will be the first link here. So you just go to Downloads, Download for Windows, and then I'm just going to save that to my Downloads. And then I'm actually let's actually cancel that because I've already had it downloaded. Let's open this up, and as you can see right here, Git 2.8 setup. Um, just click Next. Next, we don't have to worry about that. Next, use git command left from third party software. So, make sure this is clicked. This is the recommended option, so I, I wouldn't mess with it. An SSL library, check out Windows style. Next, 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 next. So, experimental support for pseudo consoles. I wouldn't recommend doing that unless you know what you're doing. Uh, if you want to do it, go ahead. Then otherwise, you can just leave that unchecked. It's a new feature too. And then you can just click install. I'm not going to because I already have it installed. Now, what I'm going to do is I have a tutorial folder here. And I'm going to right click, get bash here. Once that loads, I can say git clone, and then just go, you can search up on Google, just some bots, music bot, and it should be this first GitHub link right here. And once you get there, you'll see this code um, right here. Um, do not do, do not do download a zip, because when you run it, it's not going to work. You need to git clone it, so copy the URL, git clone, paste this here. And hit enter and it will copy all of the files from this GitHub repository and put it in here inside its own folder. Now I'm not going to do it because I already have my own thing here. Let's see, Python. So this is what it's going to copy to your folder. So let's get to configuring the bot now. So we'll go to config. And yours will look a little bit different. You'll have example options and example permissions. So what you want to do is you want to copy those two files and you want to get rid of examples. So it should just have options.ini and permissions.ini. So first thing you want to do is you want to right click options.ini and click edit and that's going to open up notepad. And the main thing that's really important here is your token. So if you don't have a token already or don't know what that is, you just go to discord.com slash developer slash applications. Sign in with your Discord and click new application and then um, give it a name and that's how you create your bot. Once you have a bot, you can just go to the bot tab here and click copy and paste that in there. So where was I? Yeah, just paste your token in here. Spotify client ID, I haven't really needed that, but um, command prefix, this is another thing you'll need. By default, I think it's exclamation point. I have mine set to n dash, so uh, just set yours to whatever you want. Basically what this means is when you run a command, you'll have to type this, these characters first. So for mine, if I want to do help command, I have to type n dash help. For you, if you put exclamation point or leave it as default, you would have to do exclamation point help. So yeah, just go all through all through these different options here. There's a, there's an explanation of what it does above all of them. 
So yeah, I'm going to exit out of this and don't save. Missions is kind of the same thing. Pretty straightforward because it, it has an explanation explanation of what everything does underneath everything. So just go through there and set everything up the way you like. Now, as far as editing the bot itself, music bot folder here, bot.py, I'm going to open up Sublime. And then bot.py, I think this is it. Yeah. So this is the main bot.py file for the entire music bot. It's freaking crazy long. 3032 lines. So, um, Unless you know what you're doing, I wouldn't recommend messing with this because messing up one small thing will throw the entire bot down. So if you do want to edit a command, all you have to do is Control F. And to find a command, you just do CMD underscore whatever the name is of the command is. So if you want to edit play, you just do CMD underscore play. And it takes you right to the start of the play command. And then you can edit everything here. So like, for example, if you don't want it to say it's typing when it's loading, you can just take this out right here. And it won't do that. Um, or if you want to edit more things inside here, then you can do that. So you can do CMD play, you can do summon, you can change the name of the commands. All you have to do is say if I want the command to be join instead of summon, I just take out summon and put join here. And then save that. And then you're all good to go. Uh, let's see. And then when you're ready to run your bot, you just do this run.bat right here and then we can go into discord let me grab discord right here look out of that I'm gonna mute the music in the background okay let's turn up the audio so if we do n summon or n join because I changed it it'll say you are not in a voice channel so we have to connect to a voice channel I'm going to mute. I'm going to say n dash join again. And I guess you can see Nugget is now in the channel. I'm going to pause this. So I have a persistent queue, meaning every time the bot restarts, it'll play the last thing that it was playing. So you can also change that in the options. So I can now do n dash play, let's say 21 pilots. And I'll say it's typing, and that just means it's loading. Uh, a return node data. So dash play pilots. Let's give it a song. YouTube DO return node data. Okay, yeah, th this is a problem with my installation. You shouldn't get this. So if you do get this error, leave a comment and I will try to help you the best I can. But everybody else I've seen that, that runs this, I, like I've sent code to people and it runs just fine, so I don't know. It, I think it's a problem with my YouTube DL, so let me go ahead and actually go to my Windows thing. No, that's FFmpeg. Okay. Let's do n dash restart. Let's check the console. Okay, it's on. N dash join, N dash play. Well, you can see it plays audio. Um, you shouldn't have that problem unless you just have a problem with your internet, because my internet's horrible. But yeah, you can see it works. We can do N dash Q U E U E, and I'll show everything in the queue. N dash pause, N dash disconnect, and then we can just go ahead and close this out. Now, what I also recommend doing is, since this Pi file is very complicated in the way that they've coded this, I think it's using either an old version of Python or a new version of Python, because the way they code this is kind of strange. I've never seen it like this before. But what I recommend doing is, on top of running that file, when you run your bot, you can also run two different Pi files. So you can have this Pi file going, and you can have another Pi file going that are each attached to the same token. So like for mine, let me drag my main in here. So this is my, well that's actually, yeah, I got reborn. 
go to my code stuff. I think that's the wrong thing. Yeah, commands not apply. So here is my uh, other commands. So like my help command is an embed. So if you want to create a new command, you can just say, well, first off, you have to import Discord from discord.exe import commands. Your token, you don't need to have your token as a variable. I just like to do it just because I don't know. But if you don't want to have your token as a variable, instead of putting client.run token, you can take out token and then put your token in here like that. Go ahead, what did I do? Token. And so and you also need to have client equals commands dot bot command underscore prefix. And this is how you define your prefix. So if you want an exclamation point, put an exclamation point here instead of n dash. For mine, it's n dash, so I use n dash. Now create a command. You say at client dot command async async define. And then here is where you put the name of your command. So like right here I have help. So we can do ping, let's create a ping command, ctx. And now we can do wait ctx.send pong. So now when we save this, run commands.py. Pong. Now what you can also do, um, let me grab See, let's go back to my other bots here, because we you can also have it return the actual ping, like your latency. So let me drag this in here. I forget the exact syntax for it. Ah, uh, yes. So yeah, it has to be an f string. So uh, let's copy this here, and I'll explain it. So await ctx.send. You have to have context pet, uh, passed in here. That's what ctx stands for. And then instead of just saying pong, you make it an F string with this little F here. And then you add your pong. Oh, oops. And then you have your curly brackets here, round, and then client latency. And what this does here, this is times 1,000. So because there are uh, 1,000 milliseconds in a second, you want to multiply this by 1,000. Otherwise, it'll show like point whatever, zero point whatever your ping is. And that's not the case. You want it to be times a thousand so that it'll actually show it. And then we also have um, milliseconds here. And now when we run it, let's get rid of this. Run it again. That's the wrong thing. Let's go back. Food stuff. Nugget reborn commands.py. Now when we run it, dash pin. You can see it says pong 34 milliseconds. And that'll change every now and then. It's not going to change very often for me because the ping it's on my machine so it's not going to change but if it's running on a separate machine it might be something like 50 or 100 or something like that so we can close that and that is pretty much all i've got for you in today's video just uh how to get this get up and running how to get this bot going now the reason i didn't do this tutorial differently uh, and actually show you how to code this stuff is because I found a lot of issues with you need there's two different things you need in order to make this work. You need YouTube DL and you need FFmpeg. YouTube DL is what is in charge of downloading the song or whatever you choose from YouTube. It'll look up whatever you type in in the chat on YouTube and download it. But the problem with that is it downloads it as an MP4 because YouTube is videos, not just audio. That's where FFmpeg comes in. FFmpeg is what converts the MP4 file from YouTube into MP3, which is just audio. And then the bot will play that in the chat. The problem that I've been facing is um, YouTube DL is not able to find things at all. Like no matter what I type, even if I get a direct link, it won't, it's not able to find anything. And FFmpeg, um, isn't converting it because it's just not downloading. So what I've was doing before is just been giving it its own files inside of the PyCache folder. So if I go to audio cache here, this is where it downloads all of the songs. So um, like this right here is a uh, SoundCloud link I gave it earlier, .mp3. 
you can just literally paste in whatever this is and then give it the file name in chat and then it'll play it. So yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, um, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, I have a Discord channel that you can join. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Uh, it, it's newly created, so they're, they're, we're still working out a, a few kinks and, and how everything works. So if you join the server and something's wrong, please let us know. Don't hesitate to, to criticize our server. We're not, we won't mind. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Leave a link to every, I'll leave you a link to everything in the description. Be sure to join the Discord, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.